everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Nurse Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Today we're going to be talking about the key facts relating to the digestive system, key points that are associated with the digestive system. You will agree with me that our exams are knocking at the door, our exams are around the corner. That is why our weekly lectures is going to be on key facts related to the various systems. We're going to be having audios and video lectures. For those that are not on our Telegram and WhatsApp page, can you send a message to the number on your screen so you can get all the details all the voice notes relating to the various system and also to help you prepare effectively well for your exams but before we go into today's class can you click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out let's go there Right, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be giving you the key facts when answering questions relating to the digestive system. So the first thing is that what are the common anatomy and physiology questions I should expect in the digestive system? The common anatomy and physiology question is with the aid of a well-labeled diagram, describe the anatomy and physiology of the teeth. Tell us about the stomach. Tell us about the small and the large intestine. Tell us about the biliary tract and also tell us about the liver. We all know that before the question comes in, what is gastritis? What is peptic ulcer? What is appendicitis? Write a care plan on gastritis. There is always an anatomy and physiology question attached to it. So the anatomy and physiology question you should be expecting in your exam relating to the digestive system are these organs in the board on the board so you have to know all this um all this description that are stated here on the board then that takes us to the basic structure of the digestive system sometimes they may act likely going to ask you about the basic structure of the digestive system the basic structure of the digestive system from the esophagus downwards that's from the esophagus to your stomach to your large intestine your small intestine your rectum they actually have the basic structure but at some point in time they are being modified so whenever you are asked to describe those organs what you have to do is to take note of this one this one should be like a free mark for you the basic structure is that these organs they have similar layers the first is a serosa layer the serosa layer is the outer layer the outer layer it is also known as the adventitia the serosa layer is what the outer layer then the second layer is the muzzle layer as the name implies muzzle is the muscles that are in that layer Hmm. Then the other is the submucosa layer, and the innermost layer is the mucosa layer. This submucosa layer is like merging the muscle layer and the mucosa layer. It's the middleman. You can see it. So in, in that submucosa layer, you can have your arteries, you can have your nerves, you can have your veins around that submucosal area. Just notice that the basic structure of what the digestive system. And also, there's something I would like to tell us about the digestive system. The digestive system is made up of the alimentary canal and the accessory organs. The digestive system is made up of what? The alimentary canal and the accessory organs. The alimentary canal is where you have your mouth, your esophagus, your stomach, and all that. But the accessory organs are those organs that pour secretion into that alimentary canal through a duct. For example, the biliary tract and the liver and the liver can be seen as an accessory organ of the digestive system. Your pancreas and also your salivary glands. All these things, all these organs, all these glands, they pour their secretion into that alimentary canal through a duct. So that's why they are known as accessory organs of the digestive system. Then that takes us to the common clinical manifestation associated to the digestive system. The first is pain. Pain is very, very common when we talk about the disease condition of the digestive system. For example, um, gastritis, that's inflammation of the stomach. Is there no pain? There is pain. Peptic ulcer, is there no pain? There is pain. Dental caries, that's teeth pain. There is pain. Then somatitis, there is pain. 
appendicitis there is pain cholecystitis there is pain hepatitis there is pain you can still have listed a lot of disease condition that you are likely going to see in your exam and there is what there is pain then also in the digestive system you have fever increase in body temperature most of the times i normally remind my students that whenever they hear itis like appendicitis stomatitis gastritis cholecystitis they should know that the signs and symptoms are usually fever and pain and these things are common with the digestive system so in the digestive system there's fever there's lots of appetite let me tell you why you know the digestive system is majorly talking about food the food we eat how it is being digested how it is being absorbed into the bloodstream so when anything is wrong with the digestive system that patient will not be able to eat properly that patient will not be what that patient will not be able to eat properly and definitely there's going to be what weight loss and also Another signs and symptoms can make it concerned with the digestive system is nausea and vomiting. Then that takes us to the nursing diagnosis related or common with the digestive system. For me, the first is acute pain. You can see we already explained why there is pain. Then the second is hypertemia. Hypertemia related to the activation of the thermoregulatory center of the brain. Evidence by what? Temperature of 38 degrees Celsius. Then the other one is imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements. We all know this patient is not taking enough food. This patient does not have appetite. So there's going to be imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements. And the fourth one I have on the board here is anxiety. Anxiety is one of my favorite diagnoses. I've crammed on the intervention for anxiety. In the sense that, whatever well, the disease condition is, most patients are usually very, very anxious. So anxiety is like a giveaway. Go, my people. Anxiety related to the cause of the disease, evidenced by facial expression then that takes us to the nursing intervention what you have to do whenever you're asked to write the nursing management what are you expected to take note of what are you expected to take into consideration the first is assessment that should be a giveaway point because no matter what is wrong with your patient no matter what you are managing for you have to assess it you have to assess by taking history you have to assess by physical examination you just have to assess it's from the assessment you actually get your nursing diagnosis so you have to assess then the other one is the vitals ha huh. the vitals are fundamental data and as nurses that should not be left out when we are talking about our nursing management they will have pain you have to manage pain right that's why you start emphasizing on how you give the prescribed medication you provide diversional therapy you use cold or hot compress pain is there then we we'll talk about fever you have to talk about fever to how to manage fever that's why you now start emphasizing on opening nearby windows step sponging the patients giving cold drinks giving the prescribed antipyretics good then you have to talk about diet these patients you have to look for alternative source for eating for this particular patient if need be they have to talk about relieving anxiety most patients are anxious and also advice on discharge this is more or less like the summary of digestive system just take note of these key points related to the digestive system put them at the back of your head and also try as much as possible to diversify if you still have enough time don't forget to click on the subscribe button Turn on the notification button and share if you got value. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.